Though I respect your decision, but I'll have to take it out to take this issue outside this house, sir. Sir, I would like to thank you for allowing me to raise this issue uh, under a short duration discussion. The manner in which teachers were appointed. And before I proceed, through you, sir, I would like to express that this discussion would be indeed directed to the Chief Minister, as I don't want to engage myself in a discourse with a communal person who wants to see wars between the Khasis and the Garos, who wants to see bloodshed, and in his uh, campaign during the last MP election, he had made an allegation against us and the hate speech that he has uh, made. So therefore, sir, I would request through you, sir, uh, to the Chief Minister to kindly uh, take this as a subject to be dealt in this um, sitting, sir. Sir, if I were as communal as him, sir, I would not have chosen to associate myself with the Garo people since the late 80s. And as a party, we had only filed an FIR against the concerned person. And I hope that the government will not prevent the author concerned authority to initiate action against <coughs> the minister. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, yes. as I've mentioned in the start, I would like to you, sir, to request either the Chief Minister or one of the Deputy Chief Minister to address this issue, sir. I will not listen to the Education Minister because the matter against him, sir, is so serious. It attracts Section 196 of the Bharatiya Niya Sanhita. So, sir, if the Chief Minister or one of the Deputy Chief Minister is not addressing this issue, I'm not going to listen. As per our practice. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. For me, let me refer the rule. As per rule 300. And I would like also to refer to rule 2791. And subpara 2. Which says, a member while speaking shall not make a personal charge against a member. So I thought we'll allow first the Honorable Minister concerned to reply, but since the Honorable Member from, uh, from Nongkrem constituency, Ba, ba Aden Basamwet, stood up and also reacted to this, I would like to, first of all, sir, put things in order because the charges is so personal. So, therefore, sir, better we expunge that line wherever he already used. Because the he made a public statement, sir. It is not a personal statement. He made so, a public statement against us. So, the matter is so serious. So, if we feel that the government can uh, go ahead and allow him to reply, we are going to walk out, sir. We are not going to compromise. Sir, we don't want to see that there will be a clash between these two communities. His, his statement, sir, his speech is promoting enmity between the Khasis and the Garus. I don't think we should allow this kind of uh, speech to sir, be I encouraged, sir. Yes, uh, sir, I would like to say like this. I think in the It is not a personal. It is not the, a personal. It is a public speech sir, where he made against uh, sir, us. I, I, think, I think I would request the honourable member to listen to me also. I think in the, in the statement where he made, the honourable member from Nongkrem constituency has mentioned that FIR has been filed. Okay. If FIR has been filed, so let 
the course of law. Carry on. But you bringing here inside the house without any because he is an emily. We bring it inside the house it's because he is an emily. Allegation. So, so why 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 should we bring in this issue? Inside this Agatha, there should not be no. That, that there is should my point. Not sir. be any so immunity. You, see, when we are here inside the house, let us be being governed by the by the by, by the rules on this. Sir. This is my only concern. So I would uh, request you, sir, that uh, you know the statement made by the honourable member, because this is a personal charge, personal you know uh, personal charge against the member who happens also to be the minister in the government. Sir. As per practice, whenever uh, any subject discussion took place uh, regarding uh, one department, the minister in charge of that department concerned will make a reply. So I allow the uh, education minister to make a reply. Yes, walk out. Yes, no. Should we listen? Deputy Speaker, sir. Educated people never fight. Therefore, we should be educated and should be respected, and we are the good citizens.